Okay guys, this is what's up today. I've been, I actually wanted to get the solar panels and the solar system up back earlier in the project so we could have been benefiting from that energy use the whole time, but it didn't work out. So I'm super excited to be able to get up here. I've got the cable and the connectors and the tool to hook the connectors and all this stuff is starting to be, the panels are already here. So I'm super stoked to go up here and today I'm gonna to figure out, hopefully I'm gonna figure out a fairing for the side that the panels will lay on. Hey YouTube, it's the day. Today is the day he's gonna start working on our solar panels. He's going up. It, it is exciting times here at nap time, man. I've gotta say. Guys, it's been rainy and cold. Can you believe what an awesome day I have today to be up here? Look at the blue skies. Mr. Sunshine is out. I'm just like, ah! I'm so excited to be working on this project. And uh, it's just going to be great. I hope I can get what I need to figure out to make these fairings for the sides. And then I can go back into the shop and, and cut them and bend them, whatever. I have an idea that I can get them out of the air conditioning ducts, but we'll see. I'm gonna flip this around and show you guys my view up here. There you go. There's the shop building. And look at this. There's the grain elevator over there. There's the beer distributor. And this is the yard for the shop. And all that brush the quail live love to live in that right down there in the bottom of that pile is the metal that i think will make this fairing so we'll see but what an awesome day to be working on this i am so lucky okay guys so what i've done is i mocked up the width of the solar panel here and it doesn't count this but this is the thickness of the solar panel. So if I make the solar panel with the mounting tab on the bottom, then the, the, the tab would go right here and then the solar panel psh, takes off like that. It goes out there and then I wanna make the fairing go down to the top of the bus and I'm gonna hook it on with the hinge out there so when I want to wire it up or service them, I can take the bolts loose up here and just tip the panels up uh, to get to the underneath side of them. So I'm going to take this piece of metal. I'm going to bend this to the shape that I want for that. So the idea with this is keeps the, I, I went with the compact size panels anyhow but this will keep the wind from blowing up underneath them and trying to rip them off from the side. And I don't know what I'll do at the front where it comes in. I don't know. I'll take it one step at a time. Okay guys, here's where I'm at now. Out here, I'll break a piece of metal. Hopefully I can alter the air conditioning ducts so that I can screw them onto the bus down there and then bolt or screw the panel onto them up here with that hinge. And then when I want to hook up the wires and stuff, like I said, I can just hinge them up. So that's where we're at right now. Wow, guys, I just took a trip down memory lane because I had to dig through the pile. Thank goodness Chris had me save all these pieces. But the pieces I need are down here. And I dug through all that stuff and it made me remember everything we've been through. Or some of the things we've been through to get to this point. If there's enough material there, I think I can bend that out like that there. And then it had these cool louvers, which would also let it ventilate out the side. So, we'll see. Guys, this is looking promising. I, can, I think I can slide them in from this end 
I'm gonna do this small sample and check it out first. It's cold out yeah, here. It, it was beautiful this morning. I was like, I'm so lucky. But boy, the cold wind came up. And man, so here's our sample. That's how it would work, baby. That looks cool. What's up, YouTube? It's solar panel day. Hopefully by the end of the day, these. We got our transitions back from the powder coater and they turned out so cool. Will all be up there, hopefully, with solar panels hooked onto them. So we got four that are one size and two that are another. So we're getting them separated, getting organized here. And then we'll go up there and figure out where we need to attach them for sure. And you got your main girl helping you today, huh? <laughs> She's spunky at first, guys, but just wait till the end of the day. Yeah, and we pulled the bus in last night because um, it's like 27 degrees out there this morning. It's only supposed to get 41 degrees high today. So we are grateful the shop was open. Okay, guys, all I have to say is as I'm sitting here on the top of the bus, I am practicing patience this morning. That is my big word for the day, Randy says as we figure this out. So wish us luck, or actually wish me luck. <laughs> okay guys, we're up here calculating where our fins are gonna go for the solar panels to get locked on. So we're trying to calculate, it, calculate the first one, and we have to watch out for our um, exhaust pipe for our wonderful propane fireplace so the fairing starts there and so now we got to go get the we got to go get the fairing we can drill it for the first solar panel and then we can see the clip for the first panel can be anywhere we want then because it goes right there and that's all clear all the way so we could pre-install the clips on that panel and then bring it up here and clip it on with some tie strips maybe. And we're going all the way back to that blue tape. on the rail and set these on the fairing and then determine where the fairing belongs and then run it on down. That's my plan. Okay YouTube, there's a small modification in our design. <laughs> but well, we, we learn to just go with the flow here. <laughs> well it don't always come out exactly like you're hoping so to get onto the flat of the roof, we had to come in a little bit more than we wanted, but it had to do with the angle that I pre-bent the fairings, and I really didn't want to re-bend them and ruin the powder paint, the powder coat. Yeah, the fairings look so awesome. We didn't want to muck them up in any way, so. So if I just flip these brackets over the other way than what I had planned, I was gonna do them like that, but if I just put them like that, It'll pick it up and it's level and everything will be copacetic, right? Yep, a small modification. Okay guys, there it is, our first panel. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> our first panel is um, just clecoed in place. So um, yeah, I think it's gonna work. What do you think? I think we got this. Yeah, I think the, the hard part is figured out now. We have figured out how to put it up and all of that. So we'll just go ahead and... We figured out that we're going to have to add struts. There was a lot yeah. of unknowns. The curvature of the roof threw us off a little bit, but we're on it now. We, we got it now. It's figured out. We're so on the straight and narrow. And level. Oh, straight and level. Okay. <laughs> Which floor would you like, ma'am? The top. Oh. 
Hey guys, welcome to Clico City. I know. We got this dialed in and it's working good for us. But uh, because it puts off so many shavings when you drill everything, we're gonna, everything will be Clicoed in place and then we'll just disassemble, blow all the shavings off and then put caulk underneath all the rivets and put it back together. So this is the last one and I have to on say- On this side. It's the last one on one side and I'm like, I am exhausted today, but it took a lot of effort to get the first one dialed in and yeah, figured, figured out. out to get that distance and the offset and everything. So, but and uh, figured out where we were going to put struts to support it. So if we needed struts or not, and yeah. so on. So anyway, let's get him on. Let the tabs go up here. go here. We have a little clearance for the strut down there. And then before we hook the tabs, we're putting the eighth inch clearance between there so we can tip them up. So we'll get this one buttoned on here and then hit it. tomorrow morning we'll be so rejuvenated that it'll just go so fast. Seriously, take three on the ending, people. Uh, yeah. Shelly keeps calling Clico's rivets. I know. Well, like, hello, and it's right at the very end. Now we get to say, this joke is getting not so funny here. Don't mean to leave you hanging, but I'm tired for the day. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've got our five panels on this side Clicoed in place. So if you want to stay tuned and see where this journey takes us, um, just keep watching. The next one will be out shortly behind it. And we love sharing the journey with you guys. Know that. And we will just catch you in the next one. I love to you all. Bye. If you want to continue watching this wait, journey, wait, wait, my line was, oh, don't mean to leave, don't let us leave you hanging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't let us leave you hanging. If you want to see more of this, go to the next video.